The chemistry department has over $3 million a year in research funding, much of that being done in these antiquated facilities. So the phase one renovation really permitted uh, the modernization of the research labs. The space was originally uh, a pretty bad looking ancient lab and it was turned into this dedicated instrumentation laser lab. We have people doing synthetic research in here. Uh, it's much cleaner, it's much better organized. The building just had a different mission and a different design than it does now. And we need to, to just better update the building to better reflect the mission of, of, of what the department is. This is one of the spaces that we were unable to finish. It's called a shelled lab because it's literally just the shell of a room. These are two small rooms here, but this is part of the original construction in the 1950s. They have no ventilation. It's very difficult to use them. When it rains heavily, we actually have to put a trash can to pick up to collect the water so it doesn't run down to the first floor. The leaking roof is only going to get worse and it's only a matter of time before some of the millions and millions of dollars worth of equipment in the building is damaged by the leaks. Once these phase two renovations are complete, these will be modern facilities. The students will feel good about these facilities. It will really help with recruitment of new students. It will help with our ability to, to help train tomorrow's workforce.